As we enter into the spring of 2013, construction on the Renewable Water Resources Piedmont Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant in South Carolina comes to a close. Renewable Water Resources, or REWA, is a South Carolina-based water utility serving approximately 119,000 industrial, commercial, and residential accounts. REWA's main goal for this new facility is to meet new, very stringent water quality standards established by the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control for the Saluda River. Well, with state and federal water quality standards continuing to become more and more stringent, some of the older technology at some of these plants just simply won't meet those standards, so it becomes important to either upgrade that technology or to replace it altogether. In the case of this plant, it will actually, with its newer and some of the most uh, efficient technology available, will replace four vintage plants that were serving three municipalities and portions of two counties. Because the river is the source of water for several communities, it is REWA's prime commitment to protect this important resource. Well, bottom line, as an intergovernmental cooperative effort, this plant will uh, serve to uh, provide a cleaner environment and to protect our natural resources for future generations uh, in the most cost-effective manner possible for the people that we serve. The Piedmont Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant was designed by Jacobs Engineering Group and MWH Constructors serves as the construction manager at risk. The construction manager at risk delivery method was its something new for us. Uh, we haven't done this particular delivery method before, so we were, you know, definitely green coming into the project, but at the same time it was good having the engineer and MWH coming in, both having done CMAR projects before and kind of helping guide us through some of the things that may, we may, may not be used to. REWA and MWH constructors established 100% of the prime contracts with local contractors, helping support the local economy with more than 130 jobs. The new facility sits on a 100-acre greenfield site with a deep setback from the scenic Saluda River. The property was purchased by REWA, then Western Carolina Regional Sewer Authority, more than five years ago, and was selected for its size and strategic location to the river and service area. One of the, um, I guess, biggest concerns about this plant uh, and coming out here and building on a greenfield site, it was a fairly large site, where the, the residents in the area, uh, being that there had never been a wastewater treatment plant, immediately around them we were concerned about getting them informed about what was coming to the site. What we ended up doing is having a community meeting prior to the construction and then you know, throughout construction we've had a website uh, posted that basically tells information about where the project is. The project broke ground in August 2011 and is designed to consolidate four 50 plus year old treatment facilities, the Peltzer, West Peltzer, Piedmont, and Grove Creek. Each of those facilities have outfalls on the Saluda River. They will be taken out of commission upon the launch of the new regional facility. The new facility is expected to have an initial capacity of 4 million gallons a day, with plans to expand to 8 and then to 12 million gallons a day. The system has been designed to adapt to the extreme fluctuations in the wastewater flow rate during storm events. It can accept peak wet weather wastewater flow rates as high as 14 million gallons per day. Part of our mission is to protect the water quality of the upstate rivers through state-of-the-art treatment processes which will serve to renew our natural resources. And this plant will do just that through the production of a high-quality reclaimed water suitable for irrigation as well as contributing to the agency's overall production of an environmentally friendly biosolids product and methane gas, which will be used to produce electricity. The Piedmont Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant will be the largest facility in South Carolina to utilize membrane bioreactor technology. This technology allows the treatment process to remove a higher level of nutrients, specifically phosphorus and nitrogen, which addresses recent increases in permitting standards from the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. Still utilizing a biological-based treatment process rather than a chemical process, the new facility will also feature other technologies already seen at REWA's upgraded plants. During construction on this facility, safety has remained the number one priority and this project has seen over 250,000 man-hours without a lost time incident. Safety is one of those things that, you know, us as owner-operators, uh, we come out here and 
we have, we're used to safety being predominantly from the operations end, um, and we've relied heavily on MWH and the engineer, Jacobs. MWH has a, a pretty extensive safety program, and uh, they've held a lot of safety trainings on site, been very willing to get everybody involved. Substantial completion of this facility was reached on December 11, 2012, two weeks ahead of schedule. The entire project will reach final completion in the coming weeks. Like any construction project, we have a lot of issues that come up throughout the course of the project. And as any construction project, you work through those issues and really it comes down to the end. Um, the only thing people remember is, you know, did you get the project done? Was it done to the, you know, expectations of everybody involved? And did you keep to the project budget? And, you know, we look back on this project now, we are where we are. And uh, this is where we expect it to be in, in terms of uh, overall financial costs, it's, uh, you know, MWH has, has come under what they projected. So, you know, I think the, the relationship there is a positive one and we can all walk away and say that we had a successful project here.